Hey everybody, here in front of me is a computer that I've recently acquired. This is a Lenovo ThinkCenter M73 small form factor. This is actually the M73-8910. Well, I got this little computer to replace the Dell Dimension C521 that actually bit the dust from a bad motherboard, but this computer is more rugged and more compact, I was saying, but my tongue got a little twisted there, but I even got a era-appropriate monitor to go with it, which is a Lenovo Think Vision. And this computer is basically around from 2010, but I will get an era-appropriate mouse and keyboard made by Lenovo to, to try and go with this when I do a video of it up in action, but it's got two front USB ports and a headphone and microphone jack like your typical Lenovo PC does, but it's even got a functioning optical drive. And then we'll go ahead and turn that big light out so it don't leave all that glare. But here it is, all booted up and everything for right now. Tell you what the little specs of this machine is. It's actually got 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, which this motherboard can actually support up to. And according to Lenovo, this computer can only go up to 8 gigabytes of DDR3. It's got an Intel Core 2 Duo clocked at 3 gigahertz. Uh, Intel Core 2 Duo 8400 and I think we're actually running at dual channel I believe for our memory and it's got your typical built-in Intel Q43 chipset graphics or what I say Intel Q43 Express chim chipset but a lot of low end I would say like some Lenovo desktop computers like the cheaper models would usually have the built in graphics it's even got a 750 gigabyte hard drive which which Lenovo decided to divide it in certain partitions and making the Windows hard drive, the hard drive with Windows, the, the Windows partition actually 680 gigabytes. And I, it, it makes no sense why they put it one a gigabyte of storage. That's just a waste of hard, of hard drive space. And you got the Lenovo recovery. And this computer is basically an internet browsing machine and to do basic internet browsing in Microsoft Office. It goes on the internet perfectly fine. But I got the speakers currently turned off right now, but why bother than having them on? It's not like we're playing music in the video. And I did load all the basic utilities and all the basic software that we I would have loaded Office 2010 but certain versions of Microsoft Office that Microsoft is starting to have problems with their activation especially with their um, phone activation so I had 2007 Professional Plus that I could activate with no problems. And it works perfectly fine, but overall, that's all I wanted to share with you guys, but I'll have a video of it up and running. And yes, thanks for watching.